Hey guys, this is what I'm going to be packing to camp, and I'm just going to give you a quick overview of it. And the reason I'm not showing my face is because I think I just look gross today. Because it's been a really busy day. So, let's get started. And here's my list of stuff that I need to bring. And I'm just, just winging it with everything. So here's tomorrow's outfit. A Shaytard shirt. And these aren't really, these aren't denim, but some jeans they're really comfy and they go with this shirt and then some ducky towels so i can wipe my face off when i'm cleaning it during um the morning and night and some extra pair of scissors because you never know you know you have to be prepared for everything so who knows if i need to just snip something off like a fabric of, of a shirt or whatever and then i'm bringing a frisbee this isn't required but you can have a lot of fun with frisbees really and you can just let someone borrow it it was only like a dollar so if it breaks it's no big deal and then some fresh picked apples, Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer, just to bring in my bag in case I ever feel too sticky to use some wet ones, which also I'm bringing in my toiletries bag, I'll show you later. And I'm bringing some Orbit gum. I just don't want to be stinky if I accidentally, you know, my toothbrush isn't working that day, I guess. And then I'm bringing some Coach perfume, so that if I want to smell extra good, I, don't, I doubt I'll use it. And then just some Kroger uh, sunscreen, clear care for my contacts, because, you know, you, you might need that. <laughs> you know, you might need that. I'm going to need it really bad. And let's see here. Oh, yeah, girls, uh, even if it's not your time of month, you might want to bring some extra tampons and pads. Because even if you're not on your period, someone else might be, and they might have forgotten to bring something and until the camp counselors can go buy some, you might want to go and, you know, let them have them if they need it. And then I'm bringing Tresemme shampoo and conditioner. Here's a shampoo and the conditioner. Just a small one for the showers. And a mini deodorant. Just so I... There's more room to pack other things. And to wash my face in morning and night. To clean off all that campness, the sweat and all the oils and everything you get. I'm bringing the St. Ives Blemish Control Green Tea Scrub and just to prevent breakouts and everything. Now it's going to bring some clear, um, some clean and clear, but I changed my mind because it's just too much to carry. And here's some Crest toothpaste that I got from the dentist, just the free samples they give you. And just in case that I don't have enough time to wash my hair and I'm just washing my body, I'm bringing some Suave Waterless Shampoo. And it's foam. Here, I'll show you. If I can open it. Just, I don't know where I'm going to put it, but here, I'll put it inside the cap. Just foamy like that. And it just, it cleans your hair pretty well. You just have to scrub it out, all the shampoo out. And then whenever you take a shower, it's so silky and soft. Oops, I've got some on my bed. And then I'm bringing a um, toothbrush guard because I don't want um, my toothbrush to get all dirty. Especially if I'll be, you know, putting... Putting it in my mouth, you never know what germs could be at camp. Even if it's a new camp, it's just, I don't want to risk anything. And then I'm bringing wet ones. I know it's a lot, but there might be someone that needs them. And then some soap to put on the cabin sinks. Oops, <laughs> I totally just dropped that. Um, to put on the cabin sinks, just in case someone forgets or camp counselors don't have any. And then here's some off bug spray. And there's plenty to go around. I can share this with two or three other people. And then, or even more, like five. And here's some Tresemme hairspray, just in case. I doubt I'll use this, but just in case. And then, this is from Eye Container, I think. I got it at Walmart in the um, travel section. And it's super cheap. It was like, this was like 97 cents. And it's just a soap dish. And it closes, too. And then I got this mini one, travel size. Just go to the travel section at Walmart, and they will, it's so convenient. I bought this here. I was looking for something this size, and I got it. St. Ives. I got this. There's so many things you can buy. Deodorant, like I showed you before. Just everything is like 10 times smaller and cheaper. It's like a dollar, everything. And I got these at uh, container too. It was in the travel section. Some lotion, some Curel lotion. And Curel's the best, honestly, if you have extremely dry skin like me and I don't want to have ashy skin. And here's some Bath and Body Works um, Berry Flirt Body Wash. I just put it in here because the original bottle was like two times or three times. Probably like four times as big as this. So I don't want to be carrying, lugging that around if I only use it for four days. And then here's an empty one just in case. 
I don't know what I'm going to be using it for, but I'll figure it out. And then here's some roll-on um, sunscreen, and it's it, it's like a glue stick, basically. And it's so much more convenient to put on your face instead of getting the other... This one's like liquid. The liquid one gets in your eyes, but this is good for your body. But this one, I know it's only 50 SPF, but, you know, it doesn't get in your eyes, and you don't have to scrub it out with water. So I really like that, and it dries really fast, too. And then just a small floss. You definitely don't want to forget floss because nothing can get really get something out of your mouth besides floss if it's stuck between your teeth. And then, let's see what else. Bringing matches, I don't know why. You never know when, if you'll need it. Like if all the, okay, if all the batteries ran out in the cabin and you might need a match. I don't know. Just in case. And some band-aids. Just, and just easy packet. Travel size, I think. And this huge flashlight. I don't know where we got it, but it's ginormous. It's really heavy. And then I'm bringing this OtterBox because I don't want to be dropping my iPhone 5 that I just got. That would really... Oh, I'm filming um, from an iPhone 5, by the way. I do not want to... Because if I keep this in my hand too long, my phone, it'll... I'll drop it. I'll probably drop it like five times in the video. I'm about to drop it right now. So this will just keep it safe from cracking and everything. And also about the flashlight, it's not bad that it's heavy because it, it produces a lot of light. So, just adding that as a side fact. And then some sunglasses, teal sunglasses. And here's my case now. It's really cute. It's striped, but it's not as protective as the OtterBox with the gel case and the hard outside. And I really like the color too. Reminds me of Mike Wazowski, so it's definitely really cute. And then in here, here's my um, cosmetics. So all this is basically my toiletries, everything right there. That's so much, I know, but it doesn't matter to me. And then here's some MAC setting powder for my um, Maybelline BB cream, which is pretty good. I mean, I've never tried any other BB cream, but it still passes the test. And then some headbands and some bobby pins, just things in there, like mascara and um, wipe with mascara and eyebrow gel. Probably not going to use it, but you never know. You have to be prepared for anything. I'm just going to clean that up later because I only have one hand. And then some earbuds for the travel there. These are brand new. They came with my iPhone. And just a clear water bottle. And I put my name on it with a label right there just so that it wouldn't get mixed up and people wouldn't be drinking out of it. Nail clippers just in case of, um, of hangnails or anything. It has a little file and a little pig. So it's... It's a nail file and a nail clipper. Sorry, I can't really close it with one hand. Super convenient. And then just a standard brush. I lost my other one, so I'm just bringing this one. Hopefully it's under my bed, the other one. And a trash bag for my dirty clothes. And then, yeah, I think that's all the toiletries and um, anything that I'll need. I also plan on bringing like a little booklet to write stuff in, and I'm bringing this pen too. And for the field trip, I'm bringing this Vera Bradley bag just to carry all my things. It has like so much pocket, so much space like here and there and then if you open it up there's a pocket also back there so I was opening it and then here's some EOS lip, lip balm. It's the pomegranate one. Got it during Christmas and then pocket, pocket for my iPhone and who knows what else. Earbuds probably. Just really convenient to carry on the field trip. And I'm bringing this H&M swimsuit that's all. And some socks, a poncho, and quarter, three quarter length sleeves, sweatpants, Under Armour leggings, and then long sleeve shirts. District champs, whoop, for my state, and well, our class. And then just a t-shirt for pajamas, and then these are some shorts and um, pants in case I, it gets hot or cold. And then here are my athletic shorts, three pairs of them. Just, they're, most of them, I think they're all dry fit, so it'll be super easy to wear these and then just some compression shorts and then these are for like the lake and the pool just to keep my butt covered because I do not like walking around in my bikini and then track and field district shirt just a, another t-shirt and then more t-shirts more t-shirts mostly track and dance and choir and all that so I think that's it oh yeah and also I'm carrying this sleeping bag this pink sleeping bag I think we got it at Target with these bed sheets because I don't want to be sleeping on the random blanket. And this bag is from Forever 21. It's about a dollar.
really cheap. And I'm bringing this black suitcase, just a standard black suitcase. I'm bringing two pairs of shoes, some flip flops that I don't know where we got these at. They're they're kind of old, but they, I mean, we barely use them. They're only like two dollars. So if you lose them, you can always buy them. They're only two dollars. I think I just said that, or one dollar, whatever. But it won't be a big a biggie if I lose them or break them. And then I'm bringing some Brooks tennis shoes because. You just need to bring tennis shoes to camp. That's just the most important thing. And they kind of match. Not really, but whatever. And then I'm bringing this Fear Bradley Folkloric backpack. It's really convenient. It has pockets on the sides, the front, and on the inside there's so much space. It's crazy. You can't see it. And then there's underwear down there. And also my feet. And this nail color is right here. It's, it's by Maybelline. Yeah. New York, and it's green with NV320. It's such a cool color. Honestly, if you're looking for a mint, this is really good here. Sorry, I hate showing my toes. I think that's so gross, but that's the only... I have them on my hands. And by the way, my hands are stained from cherries. They're not disgusting. I just ate a lot of cherries. So yeah, this is a definitely... You should go buy it. So yeah, I think that's it. Honestly, sorry if I talk fast. I don't really have much room left on my camera. And it's kind of blurry. But anyway, it's kind of messy right now. And I haven't decided what pillows I'm going to bring yet. Probably my pillow pet and my blue pillow. Or just one. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. And if you want to watch more videos, uh, I'll probably be vlogging during camp. So if you just want to watch um, more videos, please tell me. So yeah. And sorry I'm not showing my face. I just think it looks gross today. So yeah. Sorry, I've said so yeah probably like 50 times. And you're already exiting, exiting out of the video. Anyways... Thanks for watching. 